Welcome to the GEZ Class Pack Volume 1. My name is Gudrun from GE Designs and I'm so excited to kick off this class series with this first video. Do you find yourself searching through your fabric stash for the perfect coordinates? Do you strive to be more confident in your color combinations? If you answered yes or just love fabric, then a subscription to Goodies Color Club is for you. Goodies Bundle Club is a quarterly subscription program with carefully curated fabric bundles by me sent right to your doorstep. I handpick every fabric in each delivery with 12 half yard pieces, which will only be available to Goodies Bundle Club members. In addition to an exclusive Stash Builder Bundle, each delivery includes a booklet of information on the fabrics I have chosen, the fabric designer, additional fabric suggestions to use with a bundle, and quilt patterns that would be a perfect pairing with the fabric. My name is Gudrun from G Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi everybody, welcome to our show. It is a Tipsy Tuesday today. And th thank you for being with us on Facebook and YouTube. Make sure you say hi and introduce yourself. 
there you never know answering a question at the end of the show you might be a winner of a $25 gift card and of course to make sure you don't miss a show you don't want to miss all the tips make sure you follow our page sign up for notifications and hit that if you're watching on YouTube hit that uh, red button on the bottom uh, to make sure you're subscribed to our channel of course behind the scene running the show is Mr. HP with me here Say hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, girl. On today's show, we will be talking about our upcoming quilt along. Uh, we will check in on our class pack students. We're almost halfway through our class pack. And uh, I also have a brand new tip of the day for you. But first up, we have to start it off by wishing our son, our middle one, middle one, a happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Geesley! Birthday! Uh, yeah, 23 years ago, I was doing, I was doing something different. <laughs> 23 years. Um, so he is in Minnesota cutting all your fabric. He's at work today, of course, but we will celebrate next time we get there. We did some, we did some FaceTime calls. But of course, we, uh, every show we have a giveaway question at the end of the show, and last week, we asked you this question, do you like taking quilting classes? And I love seeing all your answers. And I think it's so true for most of you. You always pick up something in every class. And so keep learning, keep learning. That is, I think, um, the best way to live a longer life, if you keep learning. Uh, so our winner from last week is Mr. H.P. Jackie Naughton. Congratulations, Jackie. She says, I love taking quilting classes. So much to learn and share. And you know what? In a quilting class, you always meet new people, get different perspectives, and just have a good time. It's always a good time. So let's uh, check out the quilts on the set first. You got them um, lined up yeah. on? All lined up. On over my left shoulder is Nova. Nova is a 10 inch square pattern, much easier than it looks. All of those stars kind of happen accidentally. And then uh, over my right shoulder is Strippy Stairways from my latest book, uh, Stripology Mixology 3. Nova is a single pattern, individual pattern available both pa in uh, printed format or PDF. And behind you, oh, well, that's Venus. That's Venus. It kind of matches your uh, sweatshirt today. Yes, a little bit of a lavender purple going on. I like it. I like it. You're very uh, psychedelic today. <laughs> psychedelic shirt. That's how I like it. All right, let's start with some updates. Now, Bundle Club, Goodies Bundle Club, our quarterly subscription club, Got shipped out last Friday, and a lot of you have received your bundle already. Now, I love hearing that you're all loving it, but we got to stay hush hush, no sharing or anything for a few more days. I will be re revealing our bundle of for the uh, January Bundle Club this coming Friday. So make sure you keep that content a secret. You can, you can keep telling us how gorgeous it is and how you love it and what you got planned for it but no showing it until Friday. Happy Friday. Now, for those of you that uh, are not a part of Bundle Club and maybe we're waiting for spots, there are a few spots open. They just opened last week, so they've been going fast. So snag a spot up if you are interested, and um, then you will get a subscription, like I said, every quarter. So if you subscribe now, you will receive January's bundle. That will be the first one that you get. And then next time you will be charged is in April. April 20th is when we charge the next, next shipment and ship it out. So uh, exciting, exciting. So check it out. I wanted to uh, remind you, though, uh, that the booklet that comes with the bundle club, those of you that have been subscribers from the beginning, you all got a little booklet. Make sure you check out those QR codes that are inside that booklet because I noticed that not everybody is checking out the videos and things that we have 
link to those QR codes. So make sure you check it out. But Friday is the big reveal. So check it out. We made a lot of quilts with this beautiful bundle and excited to share that with you. <clears throat> All right, are we ready for our goodie tip of the day, Mr. HP? I, I hear you uh, have kind of shushed it up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Goody tip of the day. For today, I want to talk about something that we might not always talk a lot about, and that is preparing your quilt tops for the long arm quilter. There are a few things that you want to make sure that you do, and these are just a few of my tips. So here goes. Number one, first and foremost, make sure that all your seams are pressed flat, because sometimes when we're handling that quilt top, and especially pressing long seams, some of those other seams may get flipped or bent or whatever. So always check the back of your quilt top, whether you press seams open or to the side, make sure they're all flat, laying how they should lay. So double check all your seams. Number two, what you wanna do uh, before you send it off to the long work quilter is secure the outside seams with a stay stitch. Now, this is especially important if you have a quilt that does not have borders. If you have borders, you know where that seam extends to the edge. I always put a few stitches, just a straight stitch on the edges, just to secure those seams so that seam doesn't pop open. Because normally we don't back stitch when we're quilting. But for, especially for quilts that have no borders and they're pieced all the way to the edge, we're going to have a lot of seams coming all the way out to the edge. So my tip for you is to sew a straight stitch around the whole edge about an eighth of an inch inside um, of the raw edges of the quilt top. Now we want to do just a straight stitch, not a zigzag, because a zigzag sometimes can pull together and kind of gather, and we don't want that. We just want a straight stitch to hold those seams closed all the way through the long arm quilting process. Number three, probably the most important. This one, you want to consult with your long arm professional on a few things. Number one, what size backing they prefer. So, which means how much larger does my back need to be than my quilt top? Most times, they recommend six to eight inches on bo both the length and the width. That is six to eight inches wider, six to eight inches longer than your quilt top. But every long armor has different ideas, so make sure you check with yours. Number two that you need to check with your long armor is about your um, backing seams. So sometimes long armors have a preference if your backing is seamed horizontally or vertically, or if you really want to have a patchworky piece back, make sure you check with them. Some some folks um, get picky about it, others don't care. And third, make sure you check with them about what kind of fabric you can use for your backing. For example, if you want to use cuddle or flannel or anything else, just double check that before you send that quilt off. It's probably really hard when a long arm professional receives your quilt top to be quilted and they get a surprise, something that they're not maybe used to, something that they don't prefer to work with. So check all those things. So those are my tips of the day. Great. Now, I love this. I love these tips because we always have a conversation afterwards. So I see some questions already popping up. Somebody asked about those, those thread, long threads on the, on the quilt back. Um, do they need to be trimmed down? So of course, all of your threads, if you talk, I'm talking about the sewing thread, not the ones that fray, uh, you should be trimming those as you go. You don't wanna have to deal with a whole quilt top with all those trimmings. So you should be trimming those as you go, as you piece the blocks. Um, however, if your quilt frays a lot, if there's long pulls, yes, I would, I would snip those as well. 
But usually when we're working with good quality fabric, we, shouldn't, we wouldn't be dealing with, with much of that. Are fleece and cuddle the same fabric? So no, fleece is, um, I mean, they're both, I think, polyester. I'm not so much familiar with fleece, um, the composition of fleece. Fleece is thick and dense, and it's what one layer. So the cuddle is a polyester product that has uh, kind of a longer, what should we say, kind of like a fur, fur side, and then a really flat um, polyester side. It stretches one way, but not the other. So I think fleece can, fleece can stretch both ways. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not very familiar with sewing with fleece. Flannel is a cotton fabric. So flannel will behave much like regular cotton, but there are a, a few different few things to consider too. Can you talk about different kinds of cuddle? You know what? Uh, you might have heard that we're getting cuddle into the store. So we are going to dedicate a whole show around the cuddle that we're going to carry and give you lots of tips on cuddle in the future. So there are numerous different things, and mainly it, it uh, varies from. There's different quality. Uh, cuddle is, I think, the term that Shannon Fabrics uses for their product. There's also, they call it minky. And so there's different quality levels of the minky. So we'll talk about that later, later. That's another whole another show. When is the last time you made a quilt that wasn't cotton? Oh, boy. I think most of my quilts are I have not made a quilt. Maybe I, I did throw in, throw in some wool. There's always a combination. I think the kids' t-shirt quilts, there were, some, there were some weird materials thrown into those, but the majority is always cotton. However, I do put different substrates on the back. So I use flannel, which is cotton, but I do use cuddle on the backs of my quilts many, many times. Um, that is always loved by my kids. And us too. How hard is it to use fat quarters for the group class and the Amelie? I have so many and no half yards. For the group class, that's not hard at all. No problem at all. It will be a very similar, you will render um, a very similar outcome. However, for the Amelie, you can use a fat quarter, but just know that the use, the best use of your fabric, you're going to have a lot more waste with cutting Amelie, supersized Amelie from fat quarters than half yards because you're able to get three blocks across the width of the fabric, but with a fat quarter, since it's cut on the fold, you'll only be able to get one, uh, what, what adds up to be in one block. So just know that. But you can do it if you want. Do you ever sew with batiks? I have. They're just not my preference. You might notice just in the fabrics that I show, that um, there are lots of varieties of fabrics that I, I don't carry. It's just something, I've tried everything. It's just something th that it doesn't appeal to me. Um, uh, batiks, I have no, nothing against batiks. There's gorgeous batik quilts out there and gorgeous batik lines out there as well. I have sewn with them. It's just not my preference. I love my prints. I love the variety and the texture of regular prints. So, yes, I have sewn with them. All right, now this is turning into a whole Q&A. <laughs> so let's move on with the show. Uh, let's talk about the G Easy Class Pack, the volume one. We are tomorrow morning is when part three of the Katrina quilt comes out, and that kind of concludes the Katrina. And then next week we follow that with the live Zoom day. So those of you participating in the class packs, look out for your video tomorrow morning for part three of the Katrina, which is putting it all together, finishing, trimming up those blocks and putting it all together. I give you lots of tips on assembly, assembling the blocks, um, and then assembling how, how I do my quilts, things to consider when you're laying out your quilts. And then I'll show you some quilting ideas. You know, I figured I have so many Katrinas. I, I um, added that in there too. However, look also out for an email that's going to come in your inbox right around the same time or tomorrow morning. And that's going to include those Zoom links. There's five different sessions all throughout the day. So this should work for any, anybody, hopefully. 
So we are starting early in the morning and then we're finishing late at night. So those of you in a completely opposite time zone should be able to catch us somewhere. You might have to either go to bed late or get up a little bit early. <laughs> but I think we figured it all. We're gonna be we're gonna be working for about 14 hours that day. So a variety or 15. Of choices. Variety of choices. <laughs> a variety of choices. Choices. So check out. Check out that email. Make sure you find that email in your inbox tomorrow. But I did this last week and everybody really loved it. I showcased a little bit of a slideshow of your progress in the classes. And so we have our closed Facebook group for the class packs. And so some of you have been posting your progress. So let's take a look at a little bit of a slideshow uh, from your progress after part two of the Katrina. Beautiful job, everybody. Keep 
sharing, keep um, those photos coming. I saw, of course, that you noticed that some, some of them jumped ahead and could, could not stop themselves. Totally fine and finished their quilts already. I get it, Katrina is really a lot easier than it looks. It's really quick, actually really quick. And uh, especially with some of my speed or time saving <laughs> trick. I shouldn't say speed saving trick, time saving. All right, any questions on the class packs? I don't think so. All right. Um, How will the Saturday Quilt Along be viewed? Zoom, YouTube, or a link? We will be right where we are, Facebook and YouTube. So we will talk about the Quilt Along here in a little bit. But I also saw another question. No, I didn't see another question. It was a comment. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about a little bit about retreat. We opened up our scholarship opportunity last week. So we are accepting applications for scholarships for two spots in the retreat. And I believe with your donations, there will be more. We have donations coming in for more scholarship spots. So thank you for those. All you got to do is purchase a gift card for any amount on uh, geequaldesigns.com. Just put in the memo that you want to donate it to the scholarship fund and we will announce it. Actually, we're going to announce uh, how many scholarships are given out on Valentine's Day. No, actually, Valentine's Day is when we're going to close it. We're going to close it on Valentine's Day and then announce it the following Friday. Sorry? Will you ever do an in-person retreat? Uh, you never know what the future holds. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> you never know what the future holds. All right, so let's talk about um, the scholarship. So all you got to do is email us to help at G Equal Designs, nominate somebody that is worthy, somebody that would otherwise not be able to do our virtual retreat, and um, tell us why. We would love to hear it. We're getting some really great stories already. Somebody that needs uh, some encouragement, some support, somebody that would benefit for a great, uh, fun time. Somebody that's newer to quilting, feels overwhelmed, and wants to expand, um, you know, anything, anything. We would, we would love to see it. So send those nominations to help at geequaldesigns.com, and we will get them all in the pot. Um, the final decision is always based on all of our employees. We let everybody get a vote in. I love that. So everybody is kind of immersed in the story. So I, I, I really love that. And if, if they can't narrow it down, it, then it becomes hard. <laughs> then it becomes hard. Yeah. Anyway, so let's talk about our Quilt Along. Quilt Along is coming up this Saturday. This Saturday is our full day Quilt Along. We're going to supersize the year, make the Amelie supersized quilt. Now, I hope uh, you have all gotten your pattern, whether you did that through our special that ended on Friday or not. You can still get the pattern. It will be the pattern and video package. So all that you receive right now is the whole schedule. You have the fabric requirements. And then last Friday, we, we sent out the cutting instructions as well. And then we have um, also a video, cutting video. So some of the questions coming through our helpline, a lot of the questions coming through our helpline, is about how to get to your patterns, how to get to your instructions, or your videos. Uh, because we will be adding videos in there during Saturday. Once uh, we go through each segment, that video will get added to your account. So you can go back and watch it as many times as you want. Um, and you don't have to go back and watch the whole live segment. You can just go straight to your account and find it. So Mr. HP has um, actually put together a little video to how to go on the website, log in, get to your account, and get to all your stuff. So let, let's take a look at it. So there is the website. First up, you want to log in. This is on a computer. So you want to log in 
And now you get to this part. You go to My Downloadable Files, and there you have a list of all of your digital purchases. Um, there might be more than one page, so you can go to the next page if there's more. And that's where you're going to find the product that you're looking for, whether that is the Yamily Supersized or the Class Packs. So some products will have numerous PDFs, like the Class Packs do, and then numerous videos. So this will be true for Amelie too. The videos um, are displayed. We have a big video player, and then the different videos are there on the side. So you just click on the video you want to watch, and then you have the video player right there to play. So did you put one together if people are on their phones? Oh, so this is the phone. So you go um, to a browser and go to our website on a browser. Um, probably prefer Chrome if you have Chrome. But uh, if you have an iPhone, Safari works great too. You log in again, put your email in there. And if you don't have a login and you've placed an order, just email us to help at Designs. We will send you activation email to activate your account. There you go find my downloadable files. It kind of it looks, looks the same, it's just everything is smaller, so we're zooming in. <laughs> you find the product, click on the product, you got the PDFs on top, and then the video below. So they're also on the side. Sometimes the videos appear all in a row, but usually there's like a video player and then the, you little thumbnails for the other ones. So once you hit, once you click on, for example, the pattern or the cutting instructions or whatever else, any PDF, once you click on it and open it up, that is also saving it to your device. So you click on it, that means you're downloading it to your device. So it's actually ending up on your device. So you don't have to go to our website and log into your account to view those PDFs. It should get say it saves on your device, and so you need to find it on your device. If you go back to the account and click on it again, you're downloading it again. So you'll end up with eight versions of the same thing, um, clogging up your download file folder on your device. So usually, can I just finish this thought? So when you download it, there is on your computer, on your tablets or your phones, there is a downloads folder that holds everything you download from the internet, anything you download. So that's where you should look and find them. All right. Is there a limited number of times you can download some of the info? So we have eight downloads, which should be plenty because you should only need to download it a couple of times. Um, but you have eight downloads, and if for some reason something happens and you need more, just email us and we'll fix that. But usually, you don't want to be downloading something eight times to the same device. I understand you might want to open it on your phone, and then you might want to open it on a computer, but then it's already saved um, to both devices. All right? Any other questions? The videos can be viewed as many times as you want because you are not downloading them. You're streaming them. So you need to be logged into your account and go to your account to watch the videos. All right? All right. Any other question? Can you um, download it? Uh, Jennifer is asking, Gudrun, what did you do in your previous life before GE Designs? You are such a wonderful educator. Well, I was an educator. <laughs> I have a degree in phys phi ed, physical education. So I taught actually both in the classroom, uh, third grade, second and third grade in the classroom and phi ed. And then I taught after school at a health club for many, many years before I started teaching school teams. And before that, I was coaching sports from age 14, I think. Kind of in my blood. Uh, can we have the coffee cake recipe enlarged? Ooh, I will make a note to um, talk to Kara and Nancy about that. I don't know anything about that file. <laughs> so I'll have them check that out and see if we can make it a little bit larger for you. How can you be teaching at 14? Coaching, coaching. Coaching. Small town, small town, Iceland. 
<laughs> Need a coach. Um, track and field. <laughs> what do you know at 14 about coaching? <laughs> hey. <laughs> you were uh, good. I was good. Yeah. Sure. Coaching little kids. I loved it. Coaching my siblings. <laughs> and my, all of my nieces and nephews. Yeah. All right. What size to subcut the accent color? Are we talking about the Amelie quilt along? Um, that should be in your pattern. So you should download uh, your PDF with a cutting instruction. It's all in there. Log into your account, download the cutting instructions, and it should all be there. All right, so any more questions on the quilt along? I have to say, if you have any questions of where to go, find our blog, because we always have a blog post for every event we do. And we have one for the Amelie quilt along. So breaking down how it's all going to go, when we're going to release certain information. And yesterday, if you're paying attention, you might have noticed a couple of new things on there. We have a recipe. I always put a recipe together to something that I love and is really easy to make. So you can kind of make, make it and have ready so, that, so you don't have to do any cooking um, during the quilt along day. And so I put my pumpkin chili recipe in there. Really good, really easy. Just throw it all together in a pot and it's ready. All, all really good. Um, so I put that and then Mr. HP worked on a new fun playlist, music playlist for you to lis listen to uh, via Spotify. So if you have Spotify, uh, you can download it's an app, but you can also just access it on the, online and um, there's a link right on the blog. Just click on the big image that says the playlist and it will take it to Spotify, take it to that playlist. Um, and how many hours of music is on there? 1920. <laughs> so I, I love to listen to it just um, put, it random. put it on the random because then it just goes from you get 60s music one, one time and then something super current, you get Beyonce the next time and then... Um, <laughs> Back to some jazz, and then there's some country, and then there's some rock and roll, and <laughs> everything in between. It's, it's great. It's awesome. I listened to it while I was going for my run this morning, so it was, it was really good. Got everything uh, in between. I only had to skip once. It was a really slow song, and I was trying to push myself <laughs> to run faster. It was telling you to walk. It was uh, you. Probably was Slow what down. it was. I should have listened. Um, anyways, if you don't have any more questions, uh, didn't see the recipe, is, is it added in your account? No, so it's on the blog. So go to the blog and there's a recipe there, click on it and pulls up a bigger, um, bigger page, PDF page that you can just go ahead and, um, and just go ahead and, um, print it. All right. Okay. So next up, I wanted to show you a brand new bundle that was in the store and it got shipped to me but it happens to all of us sometimes the shipping department uh not the department the shipping companies don't get it to you right when they were supposed to Ooh. yeah so mine got a little rerouted the package so the fabric didn't arrive here so this is what's so great. We have such fabulous people in the warehouse that um, you just tell them, please, can you jump for me? And they just say how high. So I think it was Nancy and or Kara that jumped into the studio with Andrea and they filmed um, the, the reveal of the new bundle and uh, my fabric pull that I had done. So check hey, out our brand new bundle in the store. Hi everyone, this is Nancy over at Studio A in Minneapolis or Chaska, Minnesota. And I have a new bundle for you called Frond by Andover Fabrics. It is a 12 piece bundle. And to start with, we have kind of this low volume black. On the screen, I think it looks like polka dots, but it's not quite. It looks like maybe little flowers. Maybe I'll try to hold it up to the camera. Um, there you go. See that? Beautiful black. We have another kind of lower volume black. Those squares. All right. We have this really interesting 
zigzaggy kind of pattern on this one. Make a great binding. Next up, we have this gray and yellow kind of floral looking fabric. It's really pretty. And then another gray and yellow one. And I think these are like little butterflies or maybe moths. They're super cute. Then we have this bigger print floral, um, the grays and the yellows and the whites. Very pretty. And then we move on to the gold colors. So this is um, a really great blender one. Very vibrant gold. And we have those butterflies or moths again with the gold and white. And we kind of get into the lower volume of the yellowish gold one. And then this pattern again, just with the gold. And this one's really cool, the gold and white checkerboard. And then lastly, we have this large floral pattern again, just with the white. All right, so some one yards we have for this bundle. Uh, we'll start with um, the, the gray we have for the line. It's just called frond gray. And it's just a one yard of this bigger uh, print with the uh, gray background. Then for blacks, we have the Deco Stitch Stellar and the Sugar Black. Both are just really deep blacks. They look really nice with it. Um, for some grays, we have the Dash Flow Falcon and the Spectre Static Shark Skin. Both match really well. Uh, the Dash Flow kind of brings in the different shades of gray that you can find kind of in that floral pattern there. And then a lighter gray we have is Bumbleberry's Rock. And that looks really nice with that um, uh, piece of fabric. And then uh, we have our yellows and the golds. Bumbleberry's Mustard uh, really brings in kind of all these various colors of gold and yellow. And then Spectrostatic Spicy Mustard is really perfect as well. And then for some whites we have grunge soft clear water that looks really nice it has a kind of gray in there that goes well with that and then the spotted white and that also has some gray a taupey color so it looks really nice and then we have some diagonal plaids that would work really nice as bindings we have diagonal plaid black from the late october bundle and the diagonal plaid flirt black um, from the flirt bundle. Um, and so yeah, those would make really great bindings and bring it all together. And again, that was the frond bundle, 12 piece bundle by Andal. Thank you, Nancy. Frond didn't make it to me yet. It'll get here tomorrow. Might not go back. I love those combinations of blacks and, and those rich uh, golds. And I love the fact that it goes from the deeper, kind of almost curry, deep curry mustard to the lighter, brighter golds, but all still staying within that family. That's going to give your quilt lots of variety and movement, having those different tonal shape, um, shades of gold. But I wanted to give you an update on a couple of lines that. Sold out really fast, but we uh, got them back, or are getting them back. First up, this one arrived already. This is Eau de Parfum from Northcott. So this one, do you have a photo of that? I think we have a photo put up on the screen for you. This was a smaller bundle, just eight pieces, but really beautiful art, art pieces. And uh, so this one is back in stock. And I believe we were going to get the panel that goes with it, too. And so you can find the fabric pull on the blog as well. So the best way to find lines that have came out earlier is to just go to the search button on our website and type in the fabric line name. It will pull up both the product page with a bundle and then also the blog post. So that's what's really great. And then the second one that we sold out fast we got it back and sold out again is Root. 
we are getting more. It's on the way already. So hopefully by the end of the week or in early next week, we will have lots of root back and we'll be bringing it to Quilt Pond in Atlanta. If there's still some left, <laughs> I hope so. But I have one here and I don't know if you've seen it before when I first showed it to you. I am going to be making a supersized Amelie quilt with this during the quilt along. But since I have it here, I thought I would just show you. So um, it is just beautiful, really cool artsy pieces. So let me start. This is one of my favorites because it has some words in it. You know me and my typography prints. Love this. I love this. It's a lot more color than the previous line. This is by Ebon for Free Spirit. And uh, this one, what I also love is that each fabric has a name. Now, I don't have all those names in front of me, but that will be fun to show you at some point. Here's another one. Lar I love the scale of this. It's just uh, so different. So it's perfect for some, a quilt like uh, Amelie Supersized. We have a bit of turquoise and just the textures in here. The brush strokes are just phenomenal. This print is very interesting because it has horizontal stripes, but then a texture on top. So you can cut it many different ways. And since Amelie has triangular pieces, this is going to be very interesting in that quilt. Then we have a little bit more in those turquoise with bringing in some of that mustard. Vertical stripes with a texture on top. And I love this large scale on these circles. So cool. And then we have a deep, almost a tone on tone here, which that deep teal print that is kind of the darkest value. Going into a little bit of purple. So kind of like a grid with a texture underneath and bringing in a little bit of brown. So here we go into some warmer tones. Another large scale. And I love that it has this um, background feel that there is something underneath. And then there's another layer and another layer. Just so cool and different. This is another version of the kind of the stripes, but on a smaller scale with the circles. So I can see on the salvage that this one is called Cypher. This, this actual, this print is called Cypher. We have the elongated, which reminds me of leaves. A little bit of green. And bringing in some yellow along with that print. Kind of a blocky print, but like I said, for Amelie that we're cutting these into triangles, or they're going to appear as triangles in the quilt, I think it's going to be really fun. Break this up with this really nice bright red. So there's 15 pieces in this line. I'm not sure I can eliminate any because I think I'm just going to make a lap. Um, but I might include all of them. I love this one. Might include all of the prints and just, you know, have a few of each. This one is just called Bits. Oh, that's kind of cute. And we have a large scale, kind of these freeform leaves on this burnt orange background. And then finally, this one. This one is called Tuber. So this is Root. I love, I love, love it. So it's going to be wild, and you might wonder what kind of accent color I am going to do. So there's a couple of things you could do. You could do black, definitely. I would just make it almost just a tone on tone black that uh, will definitely stand out, uh, but I think I'm going to use a lighter tone, so I'm looking for my one yard. I have it here somewhere. 
but of course I can't find it now that I was going to show it to you. Oh, here it is. So the one yard that I'm going to use is this one. It's pluses and circles. So I wanted to have a little bit of a print. I'll show you up close. A little bit of a print. And the cute thing is the circles are different colors. So they're um, the teal, the aqua, the pink, and the bright red. So this will be the accent for this quilt. And I thought it would just kind of lighten it up. But you could definitely do black as well if you wanted to. I don't know that I have a black. Um, this is a blue, but you can imagine a bright black or a dark, dark black, almost a pure black with it. It will kind of be a really cool version of it too. So I can't wait to get this one together with all of you on Saturday. I have to get my cutting done as well. And speaking of the cutting, um, I wanted to mention, so some of you have been asking if you have fabric that are a little bit uh, less than 42 inches on, you know, salvage to salvage of usable fabric, because we need 42 inches of usable fabric. Some of you pre-wash and might end up with less than that. If your fabric is about 41 and a half of usable fabric, you can still use it. It's okay to have a little strip of salvage. You know, if it's a quarter inch, it's okay because remember, we will trim everything in the end, so it will probably get trimmed off. So don't be afraid to have a little bit of a salvage in your cuts if you really need to. All right, so any other questions uh, following this? Nope, everybody's uh, loving the roots, so we will be getting it back. And so the best way to make sure that you get notified when it's back before it sells out again, go to root on our website and put your email in um, the little box that says notify me. So then you will get an email won't, as soon as it's loaded back on the website. All right, so all that we have to do now, if we don't have any more questions, um, Kobe, you didn't have any questions? Nope, he's knocked out right behind me. Uh, is ask you the giveaway question for a $25 gift card. So all you gotta do is answer this question. Do you have any animal family members? Now, of course, Kobe is pure, full-on family member. Um, and we would love to hear it if you have an animal family member, whether they are furry or feathery or scaly or I don't know <laughs> what else. <laughs> we would love to hear it. Just answer in the comments um, and tell us the names too. We love we love fun names. Some people might have some animal like pet. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, you know you can. It doesn't count if your family actual humans behave like animal animals <laughs> because believe me uh, I'm aware of that that uh, uh, there have been moments that when the kids behave like animals yeah <laughs> or probably much worse than animals well Obi acts like a human really yeah he really does <laughs> he really does like right yeah. now he's listening because as soon as we say goodbye he knows the show is over and he jumps up he totally knows Time for me, he knows what it's time for. All right, so just send us that answer in your comments and we will randomly draw one of your answers for, uh, as a winner of a gift card on our next show next week. Next show will be January 31st. And guess what? That is the birthday of, my, of our other son. That's Otley's birthday. That one is a big one. So January 31st, a Tipsy Tuesday will be at 4 p.m. Central. And um, the next Happy Friday show, well, this coming Friday, is January 27th at 12 Central. And I have to give you a little bit of an update, too. Forget, I forgot to talk about that. Just Not just birthdays. There was actually births. I talked about three babies uh, that we're waiting for. And two of them arrived <laughs> over the weekend. Bailey and Cameron had their lovely baby boy, Kyron, and then... Julie became a grandma for the first time and had a little baby girl, uh, and they were both born on the same day. It was so amazing. Her name is Quinn Avery. So congratulations to Julie and family, and 
Bailey and family. We can't wait to um, see those kids running around. I got my warehouse. nickname. Got my nickname already. Oh, you do? Yep. But you're not revealing it yet. Nope. <laughs> see all these nicknames. Nicknames finds his own nicknames for all the babies in the family. Yeah. So we will see. But thank you all for watching on this beautiful Tipsy Tuesday. We will see you hopefully uh, on our show Friday. Happy Friday at 12 p.m. Central. And then, of course, that's just gearing up for Saturday. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.